Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back. Y'all, I'm so excited for today's video because we are doing dupes. We're duping some products, y'all. And I feel like I'm more excited about this one because I've actually been testing these out before actually sitting here and filming the video. Um, and it was more so the complexion, not so much like eyeshadow, even though I do have some dupes for like eyeshadow, blush, bronzer. Well, actually the bronzer is also what I'm super excited about too. But foundation and concealer y'all i am so so excited to share these um i am going to be doing one side drugstore affordable products and then the other side with high-end products if you guys never seen these types of videos so i will be um you know trying to match up both of my sides so that way they can look the same and the reason why i like to do these videos is because i know there are a lot of you including myself that um like to have affordable alternatives to high-end and just you know high-end makeup so um this is really to show you guys that you don't always have to go out and purchase expensive makeup like i know there are a lot of good products out there that are pretty pricey but there are also some good products out there that are very affordable very cheap but they work just as good if not better if not the same as high-end products so y'all I'm excited. I'm going to stop talking right here. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right, y'all. So I'm going to do drugstore on this side, drugstore and affordable, and then high end on this side. So going over to drugstore, I didn't pull out any moisturizer simply because um, what I'm about to use is a serum. It's like a hydrating serum and a primer in one. So the Ulta Youthful Glow Primer Serum. I just like, what, two weeks ago, I think. Two weeks ago, I purchased the Laneige Makeup Glowy Serum, and I have been obsessed with this thing. So I really wanted to use this one in today's video, um, but I didn't know what like what would be a close dupe to it. So I was digging through my collection, and I came across this, and I was like, yes, 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 yes. So we're going to start out with this one on this side and i'll have everything that i'm using in the description so that way you guys will know but both of these come with a dropper so you just drop it on your face like that um and they are supposed to hydrate the skin make your skin glowy and i always love doing this before going in with my um you know my foundation and stuff so i'm just gonna put it right here on my face See how it just gives me, it just instantly gives me that glow. And on the other side, I'm gonna do the Laneige. I'm just gonna take it like this. And then rub it in. These are pretty close, but there is a slight difference there's a slight difference between these two so the one from Ulta feels more liquidy and then this one by Laneige it actually feels a little more thick but it's still really thin um, and also when it dries down this one I don't know if you guys can tell right here it still gives me a slight shine like it, you can still see a little bit of glow on my skin but this one, um, once it starts drying down, it's not dry completely. But I will say both, they do leave your skin a little tacky. So when you touch it, it kind of feels sticky. So that's gonna allow your makeup to, you know, grip. But um, yeah, I'm gonna do my brows before I go in with my foundation. I pulled out my Benefit Precisely My Brow in the shade five. And then another pencil that I feel like is really close, if not the same as the Benefit, is the Revolution Pro Brow Pencil in the shade Dark Brown. They're both super, super skinny. They're not too waxy and they just, I feel like they look the same. So I'm gonna start with Revolution Pro on this side. I always take, excuse me, I always take the spoolie and just kinda brush my brow hairs. And then I will just, you know, trace out my brows. All right, so Revolution Pro Benefit Cosmetics. Benefit is a little bit darker, just a slight bit darker. If I went with 4.5, I feel like it'll be 
very light. It'll be this shade right here. So 4.5 in the Precisely My Brow Pencil is a little bit lighter than the shade 5. Um, but, I mean, they both, honestly and truly, I would not, could not tell a difference if, you know, if I didn't know which one I was using on my brows. So um, let me clean up my brows. I'm gonna use my Kevin Aquan The Sensual Skin Enhancer. I'm gonna use it on both sides because I have not found a drugstore dupe to this. And this is a, it's a good little penny, but I didn't want it to go to waste. Where did my, there it is. I received this in PR a while ago. I just never use it as like a regular concealer because I feel like it's too thick. So I didn't want it to go to waste. So I've been using it for my brows and I use the shade 13 to clean up my brows. And just so y'all know, I am going to be using two different sponges for my concealer and my foundation. These are by um, DSMD, and I'll have these in the description down below. But right now, I'm just going to blend out that concealer so that way it won't look crazy. So I totally forgot to prime my T-zone with a mattifying primer. So I'm going to go in with um, Rimmel London on the drugstore side. And I just, dang... Since I've already put primer all over, I'm just gonna put it right here where I know I get like super oily, super fast. And then I always take it on my smile line too. I forgot who I was watching, but it was a long time ago. Um, they were saying if you have, like if your smile lines show really bad, put on a mattifying primer. I don't know how true that is, but I mean, it's been helping me. <laughs> I'm gonna take the Cover FX mattifying primer on this side. So looking at them, they look totally different, but once you, um, you know, put on your makeup and stuff, and once you see how your skin feels, I feel like these are pretty, pretty close. It's just this one is a little bit more dewy on the skin than the, um, the Ulta. So this is where it gets very interesting, but I am so here for this, you guys. So Pat McGrath foundation. It did not dawn on me to try to find a dupe in my collection until I saw a comment on one of my videos where I was reviewing the ColourPop Pretty Fresh foundation. I forgot what she said word for word, but she was asking if the ColourPop Pretty Fresh foundation would be a good dupe to the Pat McGrath. So ever since I saw that comment, I was actually testing it out. So I've already tested Pat McGrath with my ColourPop Pretty Fresh foundation. I don't have the full size. I just have the little sample. But y'all, 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 y'all. Okay, I'm going to put Pat McGrath on this side and then ColourPop on this side. I use a shade 26. Now the colors may be a little off, just a tad bit off, but y'all, I'm excited. So I'm using two different sponges here. This one is um, Elf Cosmetics, and then this one is ColourPop. I don't really have sponge dupes, you guys. So um, I'm always using affordable drugstore sponges. So I don't really have like a beauty blender or just any sponge that's not drugstore price or affordable price. Um, but yeah, and I don't know if y'all can see right here, the Rimmel London Primer. You can see that it is already dried down and it does kind of look dry on my skin, but it doesn't make my skin feel tight or anything like that. So going in with Pat McGrath, I'm going to squirt it on the sponge. And I'm just going to tap it over here on my face. I'm using these two sponges because they look very similar. <laughs> but they're both super affordable. Mm, mm, mm. I also forgot to put on some lip balm and I have two lip balms in front of me that are good dupes. So let me moisturize my lips, but this is how Pat looks on that side of my face. So, um, okay, the lip balms that I have that are good dupes are um, Milani Fruit Fetish in the color, well, it's the, the scent is Strawberry Lemonade. And then the Laneige Berry Glowy Balm. Very, very close, you guys. Very close. So, Milani will go on this side of my lips. 
this is always hard to do but I just want to show y'all that you can definitely find a um, cheaper alternative to the Laneige if you want something cheaper so and they both have that like that clear pink color and they feel exactly the same like they feel kind of thick but they're not sticky and they look make your lips look really juicy okay going to this side of my face we're gonna take my ColourPop pretty fresh foundation i use the shade 185w this is um it's a tad bit dark on my skin because i haven't gotten any sun i have not been outside for real like that so dang piece of hair there we go so usually i'm a little bit darker in the summertime but since since I haven't been going anywhere or being outside like that, I haven't really gotten that dark. I'm pretty much my winter shade right now. <laughs> but I'm gonna take the little spatula and apply it on this side. So yeah, I've been wearing these, testing these out together just to see. And I will tell you guys right now, ColourPop is actually a really good alternative, you guys, to Pat McGrath. Like, really, really good. They both have that same type of coverage. Like, you don't get full coverage from Pat McGrath. You don't get full coverage from ColourPop. They both have that really light, liquidy consistency. Um, and they both are really, really close. Like, in my opinion, I feel like they're super, super close. Um, you can build both of them up if you want. You guys see that I went in with one layer with um, Pat McGrath and then one layer with ColourPop even though I put like a ton of little swatches on my face. But they are both really, really close. Like really close. All right, so this is how it looks side by side. So obviously this side of my face is going to look more um, glowy than the drugstore side because the Laneige Glowy Serum is a little bit more dewy than the Ulta um, Serum. But when it comes down to the foundation, the coverage, how it wears, how it feels, I feel like they're both really, really close. Okay, I am so excited for this next one. I found a spot on dupe, like spot on dupe to the NARS Creamy Radiant and that is this concealer right here is from Walmart it was like seven dollars and the brand is called uh Fora Fera girl I know I said it wrong do not come for me in the comments I don't know if they have it in store but you you can definitely get this online and you can also get it on Amazon and I'm gonna swatch them on my hand so this one is NARS they're both super super creamy and then this is the drugstore one right there so really, really close, y'all. Um, if you look at it really, really, like really close, you can see that NARS is more yellow undertone. Like you can see a slight yellow undertone. And then the other one, so again, this is NARS right there. And then the other one is more warm slight bit of red undertone just a tiny bit and this is a full coverage concealer you guys like just swatching it you can see the coverage like you can see the full coverage okay i don't know what's going on with my lighting but there's that one and then going in with nars on this side but before i blend it out i want you guys to see how they look side by side you know what i wish i didn't wear this pink robe because the pink is kind of bouncing off on my face i hate when i do this i should have put on my other robe the um the brown leopard one dang it but um but yeah this is how look how that looks it looks so good y'all it looks so so good i'm gonna go in with nars on this side and blend it out all right, I need to go ahead and quickly set before we start creasing. I'm gonna use my Laura Mercier Translucent Press Powder. 
on the high end side and then I pulled out my uh, my Rimmel London state matte powder and girl you can see we're hitting pan on both of these these are my favorite 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 press setting powders and they are pretty close so let's take a brush I will be taking okay I'm not really good with duping makeup brushes so um and I don't I don't know dang I should have pulled out some more I don't know let's just use this one by Sephora this is the makeup Mario Sephora brush I'm gonna go in with um Rimmel London and just set I'm actually gonna take this little um, brush from my brush set. I think this is pretty close to the Makeup Mario brush. So yeah, this is my brush collab with Peach and Pearl brushes. We only have a few left, you guys, so there's not many left and they are also limited edition, but I'm gonna put this under my eyes. This is perfect to use. I'm using Laura Mercier, by the way. This is perfect to use under your eyes and just apply your setting powder. And then also on my lid. It's always so hard to put concealer like on my chin, my nose, my forehead when I'm doing this. So I'm just gonna try my best to do it. So I'm gonna go in with Farah on this side. I'm just gonna take one concealer down the side of my nose. Well, down, down the bridge of my nose cause that is hard to do with two different concealers and this is NARS. I'll just take NARS down the side of um, the center of my nose, just like that. And then taking those two different sponges, just blending out NARS. And then this one. I'm gonna go ahead and set the perimeter of my face using a pressed powder. This is Makeup Forever, and then I have CoverGirl Full Spectrum. Um, Makeup Forever is a matte velvet powder, and this one is also a matte powder. So this was the closest that I had in my collection that I could actually dupe. So let's go in with Makeup Forever. I'm gonna take this Sonia Kashuk large powder brush, and I have Ooh, I have La Mer. So this is actually a good dupe, you guys. So La Mer, y'all know this is like an expensive brand. It's very expensive. It's really, really, really similar to Sonia Kashuk. And um, Sonia Kashuk you can get from Target, if y'all didn't know. But girl, so, so similar. They're both, this one I've used and abused, but they're both the same size. They're both super fluffy really big perfect for powder this one is just really really expensive but since it's clean since i have it in front of me i will be using it on the other side of my face so going in with makeup forever i'm just gonna set the perimeter of my face and i don't dip it back into the powder i'll just take whatever is left on the brush and just go over the rest of my face just to kind of blend everything together okay i just did this so backwards i should have used my sonia kashuk sponge on the drugstore affordable side but since i was already using the makeup forever powder um i just went ahead and used it on this side of my face because i was using it before even filming this video and i was using this brush with it but we're gonna go in with la, uh, la mer and take the CoverGirl Full Spectrum Powder and do the same thing on this side. If I can open it, there we go. And as always, I'll go back to my brows after I get done doing my complexion to fade out the inner corner. Okay, so what do we think so far? I feel like this side of my face, which is the affordable drugstore side, it actually looks a tiny bit more pink than this side and it's honestly not helping because I have this on the light is bouncing off from my silk robe to my face but as far as the overall complexion I feel like um, they look pretty close it's just the color um, you know the color is a little off but the complexion looks pretty good we are finally down to my favorite part of makeup application which is bronzer the Charlotte Tilbury bronzer in the makeup revolution both of these are dupes. Charlotte Tilbury is in the shade deep right here. 
And then the Makeup Revolution bronzer is in the shade dark right here. Charlotte Tilbury will be going on this side and then Makeup Revolution on this side. Look at them, y'all. Look at them. I mean, can you not see a difference? Let me swatch them. Let's swatch Charlotte. This is Charlotte. And then we have Makeup Revolution right there. Boom. I'm gonna take this Sephora powder brush. This came in a limited edition set, so I'm sorry, y'all. They don't have it anymore, but this is the one that I've been using with this bronzer. So I figured I'd go ahead and, you know, go ahead and use it again, which is Makeup Revolution. We're gonna put it on this side of the face. I'm gonna take the Sephora um, Pro Mini Flawless Brush. This is number 50.5. And I'll do Charlotte Tilbury with this one. So here is how they look with both of them applied. So y'all know I always like to contour my nose. I pulled out the e.l.f. bronzer palette. This one is deep. And then I also pulled out my KKW contour palette. And I take the darker shade in the e.l.f. bronzer palette because it's too light as a bronzer on me. So I just take this for my contour. And then in the, um, the KKW palette, I also take the darker shade, which is um, more cool tone. So I use that to contour as well. So I'm gonna take my little um, ColourPop brush and take it on this side. I'm gonna take the same brush, I'm just gonna kind of flip it over and go into my KKW and take it on this side. Okay, I might be cheating right here, but I'm just gonna take a loose powder this is the wet n wild banana powder and i always like to just let it sit on the side of my nose right here and kind of bring it under my eyes um and i'm gonna do the same thing on this side <laughs> this is like cheating i know but i'm gonna dust it away anyway i'm not gonna let it you know stay on my face but I like to let this sit on the side of my nose while I do my eyeshadow. And yeah, so eyeshadow, Natasha Denona Biba palette and e.l.f. Cosmetics Bite Size palettes, y'all. If you already own these, like oops, I am dropping stuff. If you already own both of these from e.l.f. Cosmetics, then you have quite a few shades that are already in the Natasha Denona palette. So the ones that I have from e.l.f., I have Truffles and I have Carnival Candy. So all of the colors in Truffle and three of the colors in Carnival Candy are shades that are in the Natasha Denona palette. Let me open it so y'all can see right here. So you have a lot of neutral shades in here. And then the other shades that I just showed are pretty much neutral shades. But really quick, let me show you guys what Truffle looks like next to the Natasha Denona Biba palette. There we go. So I wanted the light to kind of dim down so y'all can see the true color of these palettes. And then the Elf Carnival Candy palette. Let me scoot it over to this side. So just ignore the blue, but I did not prepare for this part because I didn't pull out any clean brushes. Um, okay, let's take my uh, Morphe M504. I think I have another one over here. Yeah, so I have two Morphe M504s. These are gonna be what I'm gonna use in the crease. So the first shade that I wanna dip into that's from the e.l.f. Truffles palette is gonna be this color right here. I'll put this one in the crease and then in the Natasha Denona palette, I'm gonna use, um, it's called Pasha, this color right here. So this will be in the crease on this side. So going in with e.l.f., 
I'm just gonna take a good bit of that color and just put it right there in the crease. Look at that, y'all. Look at that pigment. Look at the color. Look at the blend. Like, if y'all don't have any of these e.l.f. Bite Size palettes, girl, they have so many. They have so many, so definitely check these out. Look at that. It's so good. I'm gonna put a little bit more on. I just wanna build that color up. And I'm keeping it right here on the outer part of my crease. I'm not putting more, of the, like I'm not trying to put too much over in here. I'm just keeping it on the outer part. Just like that. Oh, that looks so good. It looks so good. Now I'm gonna take the Natasha Nenona and dip into Pasha that color right there and taking the same brush. Well, it's not the same, but it's the same brush. It's just a different one, the Morphe M504. And I'm gonna place it in the same area that I did on the other side. Okay, so how are we looking? Elf is a little bit more warm than Natasha, but they are really, really close, y'all. Like, really close. Okay, now I'm just gonna pick up the Elf Truffles Bite Size Palette, and I wanna dip into this color right here. It's like a black charcoal color. And the Natasha Denona has a color very similar to it, which is right here. And they both have a little bit of a sheen in them. I'm gonna actually take the same brush that I was using earlier, the M uh, Morphe M504, dipping it into this shade right there. And I'm gonna place this on the outer part of my lid as well, but kind of keeping it right in that spot. And just tapping it in and also lightly blending it into the crease to kind of fade into that first shade. You can definitely use a different brush for this, but I like to stick with my brush, <laughs> the same brush, y'all. But you can definitely switch out your brushes. But I feel like using the same brush, it just makes everything blend so much better. Look how pretty that looks really pretty and smoky. Okay, going over to Natasha, taking the same brush that I use for the crease. We're gonna dip into Spot, that's what the color is called. And I'm gonna do the same thing on this side. Oh my gosh, this is looking so good, y'all. This is looking so, so good. Okay, I want to go back into the um, Carnival Candy Palette from e.l.f. And I'm going to take this lighter mustardy color. Do I want to do this? Am I going to mess this up? Uh, am I going to mess this up? I don't know. Am I, I don't want to mess this up, y'all. Uh, okay, I'm going to do it. Let's take this color right here and taking... Hmm, let's see. Oh good, here we are. Okay, if y'all have the Fenty blending brush, it's the Fenty Beauty 210 blending brush, there is a good alternative to it, which is the Sonia Kashuk blending brush. Both of these are really, really, really close. Let me give y'all a close up. So the brush shape is the same, y'all. So, they're really, really close. Um, I was going to take a different brush for this because I feel like I would need a different brush. But these are actually a little bit smaller than the Morphe M504, but they're both good blending brushes. So I'm just going to take um, the Fenty on the high-end side and then Sonia Kashuk on this side. I really wanted to use like a more flat brush for this, but... I don't have two like two of the same brushes in front of me. But anyway, I'm going to dip into this mustard color in the Bite Size Carnival Palette. And I am going to take it on the center of my lid. Right there in the center. 
and then just kind of flick it over into the black or just, do y'all see what I'm doing? Just kind of going right there in the center and kind of blending it into the black color. Had to build it up some, but I'm gonna wipe. I don't want too much of that eyeshadow going into the black, so I'm just gonna wipe it on a napkin and taking that clean brush and just kind of blending the black into that mustard color so they can both blend together just like that. And this color right here in the Natasha Denona palette is just like the shade, um, is very close to that mustard shade. It's called Prairie right there. And I'm gonna do the same thing, just tap it right there in the center. Yeah, I wish I did a more flat brush for this, but we'll make it work. We will make it work. Just tapping it right there in the center. So I still wanna stick with my Sonia Kashuk blending brush. I just took off most of the color by swatching it on a napkin. I'm gonna go in the Carnival palette, the e.l.f. Carnival, and pick up this lighter shade right here. And in the Natasha palette, there is a shade very similar to it, which is right here or right here. Let me see. Let me see. Yeah, we're gonna go with this color right here in the corner. But, um, but yeah, e.l.f taking the little Natasha Denona palette. I'm tapping it right there and I will be putting this on the center in the inner corner of my eye right here where we didn't put any eyeshadow just to brighten it up and then kind of sweep it into those other shades, just lightly sweeping it so it can touch and blend together. And then taking Natasha Denona, dipping into the shade Tusk using the um, Fenty brush and doing the same thing, just tapping it in the inner corner. Okay, I am done with the eyes. I do not wanna mess this up because it looks so good. It's so blended and just soft and just, it just looks good and it looks the same. So I'm gonna put on my lashes. I don't have two different lashes, so I'm just gonna use my Ardell Remy lashes. And then I'm just gonna coat them with some mascara, pop on some black eyeliner on my waterline. I do not have two different black eyeliners in front of me, but if I can find like two dupes, I will make sure to share those with you guys. But I'm gonna do that off camera and I'll be back. Okay, y'all, we have the lashes on. So what do we think? What do we think? Do we think the drugstore side looks, you know, better than the high-end side or does the high-end side look better than the drugstore side? What do we think? How do you feel? Let me know. But let's wipe off this powder on our nose. Okay, I have another exciting dupe, you guys. Fenty Beauty Penny For You Thoughts. Let me open her up. So if y'all haven't seen her, this is how she looks. This is their, um, the Kilowatt Foil. You can use this as a blush. You can use it as eyeshadow. That's actually my favorite thing to do with this is use it as eyeshadow. But girl, Elf Cosmetics Multi-Use Stick in the shade Radiant Bronzed. Let me swatch her for y'all. Okay, that's Elf. You see it? I'll get closer once I swatch the other one. All right, there's Fenty Beauty right there. So the color is not spot on, but once applied on the skin, they look so, so, so similar. So let me put it close so y'all can see it better. So we have Elf right there so when i shift it you can see so once you start shifting back and forth you can see some similarities there but elf and then fenty right there so i'm actually going to use these two sponges that i used earlier with my concealer i'm just going to use the bottom of them i'm going to take elf on this side and then fenty on this side um, and by the way this is like a cream you guys it's not powder but it is so pretty. And both of these have that really pretty rose gold shimmer in it, so I'm not even gonna put on any highlighter. I'm gonna use this as my blush and my highlighter. Look at that, y'all. Can y'all see that? So now taking the other sponge, dipping into Fenty, and doing the same thing.
Okay, the last thing is gonna be the lips, but before I do the lips, I wanna spray my face, and we are gonna be using e.l.f. Dewy Setting Mist and Cover FX Dewy Setting Mist. So let's spray e.l.f. on this side. This is a strong sprayer, y'all. Like, you have to be really careful with this because it comes out so strong. And then the Cover FX is really, really soft and light. We're gonna keep it simple with the lips as always because that's just, you know, that's what I do. So we are going to take Pat McGrath Lip Pencil in the shade Ground Control and the ColourPop Lip Pencil in the shade BFF4 is a great dupe for this, you guys. Let me swatch. Oops, I just dropped the top. Let me swatch it. That's ColourPop BFF4 and then Pat McGrath Ground Control. They're both really, really creamy too. So, Pat McGrath on this side. And then taking ColourPop on the other side. Okay, and for the gloss, I'm taking my Fenty Gloss in the shade Fussy on this side. And then a good dupe to Fenty Gloss is the new Maybelline Lifter Glosses. And this one is in the shade Moon. Let me swatch these two, cause I know you guys love to see swatches. So this is Fenty. And then Moon is right here. And there they are. So going in with Maybelline on this side. And then Fenty Fussy on this side. All right, y'all, what do we think? What do we think? What side do you like the best? Drugstore, affordable, high-end? Let's talk about it in the comments. I'm gonna take you guys with me in front of my window in natural light so you guys can see how the overall complexion looks. And I'm also gonna check back with you guys later on this evening so that way you guys can see how it all looks after sitting on my skin for a few hours. Dang, what? Oh, I always, always, always do this. What time did we start? Oh, okay, it is 11.53 a.m. right now. Let's say I've been sitting here for a good hour. I wanna say an hour and a half because I had to stop and do something. Let's just say we started around, let's say 10.30. Okay, dang, I need to remember to look at the time when I sit here and do my makeup, especially when I'm doing like a full face, um, well, full day wear test with you guys, but we're just gonna say 10.30, so I will check back with you guys actually like right now because I'm gonna head and switch out my camera and get my vlogging camera and stand in front of my window so y'all can see the face in natural light, but I love, 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 love how everything looks you guys like it honestly looks like i did everything like i don't have on two different products on each side of the face if i look at it really you know really quick it looks the same so if you stare at it like really 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 hard up close and personal you probably can see a difference but it looks the same to me so I'll see you guys in a few minutes. Okay, girls, so we are in front of my window and this is the drugstore side right here. And then this is the high-end side right here. So let me know what y'all are thinking so far. Like so far, let me know what you're thinking. And then um, once I check back later on, once the makeup has, you know, settled into the skin and all of that jazz once it's been worn for a few hours. Um, we'll see how it looks. And I'll let you guys know, I guess, my final thoughts on which side I like the best. And yeah, so I will see you guys later on. All right, y'all, I am back. It is 6.13 p.m. There's the time right there. And come on, camera, come on. There we go. This is how we look. Let me get closer to the window so y'all can see. I try not to turn on any lights so y'all can like really see how my face looks in natural light. But okay, let's talk about this. Let's 
talk about it. If this does not tell you you don't need to go out and purchase expensive makeup, then I don't know what to tell y'all, like for real. Look at this complexion. Look at my under eyes. Um, this was the drugstore side. And then this was high end side. Obviously high end looks um, more, what's the word? Um, the bronzer was a tad bit darker, just a tad bit darker. So you can see more definition over here versus the drugstore side. But it looks, girl, no complaints, no complaints whatsoever. Um, eyeshadow, y'all can see it looks the same. Um, just everything, everything, the overall complexion, the blush, um, the e.l.f. blush is a little bit lighter in natural light, you can see here. I think when I was editing the video, I could see the Fenty was, yeah, I could actually see it when I was editing the video, but when I was actually sitting there filming in front of my mirror, I couldn't really tell a difference, but once I started filming all the clips, I could see the e.l.f. blush was a little bit more pink than Fenty but it still looks really really pretty and Fenty had a little bit more shimmer in it but um so you can see here this is Fenty and then this is Elf and I'm gonna be honest with y'all let me switch my hand because it is starting to hurt holding this camera but if I were to just say if I had a twin and she had on this same look and she were to ask me what side was what I would be like girl what you talking about because I just don't see a difference. I really don't. I feel like it's just everything is the same. So um, let me know your thoughts. Do you see a huge difference? If you do see a difference, is it super duper duper noticeable? And if you guys have used any of the products um, that I use in today's video, what are your thoughts on the products? Do you like the product? Do you not like the product? Do you prefer drugstore makeup? Do you prefer high end makeup? Let's talk about it. Let's chat it up down below in the comments. And that is all that I have, you guys. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, give me a huge thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.